Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Uh, so I thought about this video uh, idea on the spare of the moment. I was just thinking about what I'm going to record and all of that. And I remember that around the time that I had a channel with my sister, Beauty Corner SA, if you recall, I did a video that I never really published about my insecurities. And when I did that video, I was quite... You know, I was quite, you know, involved deeply in that video and that video meant so much to me and I wanted to share this part of myself with you guys in the sense that, you know, it's funny because a lot of people, well, I, I suppose we've already started the video, but a lot of people seem to watch content creators and not think that we have insecurities because our lives seem to be so perfect and we we seem to you know we we look good all the time we clean up real good we look like we have money as many people seem to think and all of this that that and the other and when i did this video of my physical insecurities i really wanted to share that side of myself with the followers on my channel to just show that there are parts of me that i really do not like that i feel like i could fix sometimes um sometimes i really hate them sometimes i don't but i really wanted to talk about this because i felt like now is the time now i have my own channel and um, this is the type of stuff that i want to talk about and not only that i was having a, a conversation with one of my followers in the dms on instagram a couple of days ago and she shared with me an insecurity that she has uh which i will mention that i have the same insecurity and, and she was so surprised like oh my gosh i didn't i didn't think that you and i would have the same and i was just like here we go here's a video idea before we get into that, a quick word from our sponsors. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring another video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes, so many classes for curious and um, explorative people on topics including design, illustration, video, freelancing, photography, and so much more. On Skillshare, you and millions of other members can come together to find inspiration and take the next step on your creation journey I really really love Skillshare especially for my content creating journey because I can look at classes like photography I can look at classes like videography looking at lighting how best to harness my content creation to make it work and beneficial for me I really really love Skillshare because it provides whether an amateur or even an expert information to empower you in the Skillshare and skill set <laughs> rather that you have but also with regards to this topic of today skillshare is also really 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 good with life coaching lessons and classes but also more importantly self-confidence classes which are also classes that i look into because as somebody who has insecurities your self-confidence can take a knock from time to time and because of that it's always good to just pop into skillshare and have a look at what classes um, i can listen or take or follow along with that can help boost my self-confidence on a daily basis Thank you so much to Skillshare. If you want to know more information on how you can get free membership, please look in the comment section in the description box down below. <laughs> so for me, one of the biggest insecurities that I've had all my life, all my life, were my teeth. Like for me, <laughs> um, if you look at a lot of my pictures on social media, I'll do a little thing of all my pictures on social media not all of them on instagram all of that if you look at a lot of my pictures i'm not i'm not showing my teeth in in in, in the shots it's very rare that you'll come across a picture of mine where i'm actually showing my teeth and if i am i'm quite a distance away like here like i'm talking i can show my teeth blah blah but i would never be the person to actually bring you real up close and show you my teeth because i grew up with serious serious teeth problems and my teeth are not straight and they're not these perfect teeth that you know deserve to be on a dental advert and things like that but people yes seem to like my smile and all of that 
but I don't personally like my teeth. I feel like if I had all the money in the world, the first thing that I would start with would be veneers, okay? I grew up, I grew up with, um, I think I was around five or six, just before I went to grade one. I was about five or six or even four, I can't recall, my parents would know, but all my teeth were taken out because they were so all on top of one another that they just looked bad. And my doctor or my dental dentist advised my parents that rather take them all out because they were milk teeth or something like that and rather have them grow again and hopefully this time around they'll grow uh, better. And I had all my teeth removed. So I have like this tooth that hangs hangs on the side, which, you know, I would be teased about and people would be like, yeah, you've got dragon teeth and you've got this. And it would be, it would make me, I mean, cry, feel really, really insecure, really uncomfortable. And I feel like I've taken that part of me into my adulthood. That's why when I take pictures i barely show my teeth unless i'm far away or it's a shot that's been taken by someone else and i'm unaware of it or what have you but if i deliberately take a shot i barely show my teeth and it's because it's one of my major 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 insecurities and now you know <laughs> another major insecurity of mine are my arms now you can't really see because I am wearing a shirt, but I have got the chicken arms. I've got the flabby arms. Uh, and no matter how much I may train and lift weights and do this, it's it's a total her hereditary, hereditary thing, okay? And my mama had them. I'm getting them. And no matter how much I may try and train and tone it up and all of that, my chicken arms are always going to be there. So a lot of the time, because of this, it's one of the reasons why you'll hardly ever see me in a strapless top without, um, I'm trying to show. That's why you hardly ever see me in a strapless top without anything like a kimono on top or something like that. You'll hardly ever see me in a strapless dress, top, anything where my arms are exposed because I'm very insecure about my arms. It's just one of those things. Even when I'm taking pictures, I will um, position my arm a certain way. I feel like me sharing my insecurities, every time you, you see my pictures online or you watch my videos, you're going to focus on those kinds of things and it's fine. We're all a family here. It's okay. But even when I position myself, if I'm wearing a strapless dress, like in one of the pictures that I put up on my Instagram, even if I'm wearing a strapless dress, I'll position my arm in a certain way. So instead of leave it like this, I'll probably position it like this, which makes it look a little bit more slimmer. It's all the things that you kind of come up with when you are, you know, when you have insecurities, you kind of make them work for you somehow, especially when, you know, taking pictures or video footage or any of that kind of stuff. For me, that is, um, my arms are a major, major insecurity and they make me feel very uncomfortable. And I feel like if I'm wearing a strapless top, that's all people can see. And I don't like that about myself or my arms. And it's one of the things that I do not want to show to the uh, world. The next insecurity of mine are my thighs. And everybody who knows me knows this about me. They know that my thighs are a big insecurity of mine. I have lost a lot of weight. I have probably 26, 27 kilograms of weight. And it's great. It's wonderful. I still feel like I could have lost some more on my thighs. I still feel like when I gain weight, it all goes to my thighs. I don't necessarily have a problem with my bum. I feel like my bum is fine. You know, we're good. It's all right. It's not a big deal and all of that. But I just have a problem with my thighs. I feel like my thighs are too big for my frame. I feel like my thighs are too... They just... Ugh. That's it's, they, they become the central focus of every shot that I take or every photo shoot that I do and I look at my pictures and I'm like, Ugh. I don't necessarily, you know, edit and make myself look smaller in my pictures. I don't necessarily do that. However, if I do feel like a picture, there's just too much thigh action in the shot, 
I will just sort of like, I, I won't use that picture. I'll, I, I feel like, nah, nah. If my thighs are taking over this image, nah, I'm not going to take a picture of it. And I'm, it's an insecurity of mine. I often, and because of that, I, I'm very pedantic about swimwear. I don't like to wear swimwear because of my thighs. Like I can wear like, um, a bikini top and bottoms but in the bottoms i'll wear like a sarong to cover up my thighs i don't mind my breasts and uh, in a bikini top and all of that i'm fine with that I, but my thighs are a very very contentious point in my life and a, a lot of people will say but your thighs are fine you look great you're like uh. and i'm just like nah you you don't get it and 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 i don't expect anyone to get it i feel like I could do better here you know but when i started going to the gym and toning up and all of that i started to be quite accepting of my thighs and i was okay with it and then COVID happened so i haven't been going to the gym so my body is a little bit here it's no longer you know <laughs> it's no longer it's a little bit here and because of that i'm starting to notice my thigh all of that making me very very uncomfortable very uncomfortable attached to the thighs another insecurity is cellulite so for me meh i can handle stretch marks i'm okay with stretch marks okay I'm, I'm i'm perfectly okay with stretch marks cellulite i have a little bit of an issue with and the one place where i have cellulite on my body is my thighs so you can imagine with the two things together oh man it just drives me up the wall when I'm looking at myself. And when I was at the gym, I was toned up. So it wasn't as bad. In fact, it looked it looked okay. I was just like, man, I could wear a swimsuit now. What? What do you mean? But, uh, yeah, now that I'm not going to the gym, the cellulite has kind of made a reappearance that I don't like at all. And even though, you know, the the body positivity movements and you know the body happy people will be like you know cellulite is a thing blah blah listen we all know that cellulite is a thing there are body positive uh influencers right where they may have body and all of that blah blah but they will still filter out especially on their thighs and I can see it as somebody who has cellulite on her thighs. And I see images of somebody who's potentially bigger than me and whatever. And I'm just like, uh, uh you filtered that out, which is fine. I mean, for the image, for the culture, for the brand, I totally get that. But for me, again, it's one of the reasons why I don't wear short skirts or short shorts or bikinis just like that. And, and just let it hang loose like that. I, I don't do that. I just, I don't do that. Lastly, lastly are my hands. <laughs> I don't mind my hands. I just mind them when my nails are short. Um, I feel like my hands are quite um, small and stubby and my fingers aren't long. But when I have nails on, I feel like it sort of elongates my fingers um and being older and getting older and what have you you start to see somebody you see somebody's age quite a bit on their neck and on their hands and for me i feel like my hands are starting to give me away quite a bit so it may it makes me a little bit uncomfortable it's not too much i put this one last because i'm really not that fussed about it but i feel like when my nails are long i appreciate my hands a little bit more when my nails are short i can't stand looking at my hands it's one of those things that i'm just like oh no i need to go get my nails done i honestly feel that way and um i don't know what it is a lot of the time i can't even tell you what is it that makes us have the insecurities we have apart from saying that it makes us human there will be parts of ourselves that we just don't like um, but that does not make us any uglier or prettier or whatever. It's, it's, there's really nothing to it. We are human. Of course, we're going to judge ourselves a lot, especially when we compare ourselves to others. Um, sometimes you're not even comparing yourself to anyone or anything. You just don't like a certain part of yourself. And I wanted to just share that with you guys to just sort of show you that 
you're not alone in it. I also feel that way if I could make certain changes to myself. <laughs> Trust me, honey. I would, starting here and here. I definitely would. Uh, and my thighs. And so that. You know, I would make some major, major changes to my body. Um, but then again, I also remember parts of my body that I do love. Parts of my body that make me smile. Like my waist and my eyes and... Uh, whatever else it is that I like about my body that I can't think of now my toes so I think about other parts of my body's bodies that I do love and and it reminds me that you know what I'm human and there's certain parts of me that I'm not gonna love but that that that, that, that doesn't make me any more or less of you know the person that I am you know it it's I'm still going to be me and I feel like what matters is me who i am how i feel about myself overall apart from the little things that i don't like about myself but just as long as i love myself unconditionally overall overriding the cons about you know myself then it's fine you know it doesn't it doesn't um define me my teeth don't define me <laughs> it doesn't define me at all my teeth don't define me my thighs don't define me and all of that i and i need to remind myself to think about it that way so, i really hope that um this video has sort of drawn me closer to you in such a way that you can also see that as much as you may have your insecurities i've got mine too that make me feel some type of way about myself i mean what do you even mean but they do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did. If you'd like to see more of these kinds of videos. Also, let me know down below. Uh, subscribe, join the family and click the notification bell and let me know what you'd like to see from me next. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!